In your company's daily operations, you will encounter security risks that threaten the safety of your data. While proactive strategies exist to minimize these threats from impacting your business, you should also establish reactive measures to protect your company after a breach occurs. One way to do this is by creating an incident response plan. An incident response plan is your company's approach to how you will respond to a security breach or attack. First, you should define what is considered an incident in your organization, meaning what type of event must occur to roll out your plan. Examples of common security breaches are ransomware attacks or phishing scams. After defining which types of incidents your plan will respond to, you should determine what steps your company will implement to restore safety to your environment and retrieve important data. Your plan should also consider how employees should report incidents, whether through a pre-existing service like Microsoft Teams or an established incident response team. Incident response plans typically consist of four main steps. The first step is detecting an incident when it occurs and identifying what type of incident it is. In this step, you will also categorize the risk based on its threat level. Next, your company should focus on incident containment, preventing it from spreading and causing any further damage. After this step, your team will undergo an investigation into the incident. You should try to figure out the cause of the incident, the impact that it had on your environment, and the extent of the damage that it caused. The fourth and final step is recovery. During this step, your incident response team is working to restore order to your company's operations. When it comes to cyber attacks, the question is not if, but when they will happen. That's why Plow Networks keeps security at the forefront of our business. To learn more about how we do IT securely, visit our website at plow.net.